for the Smith and Valley Ranger Cheerleaders. You're watching the KSAT Pigskin Classic. Let's go Rangers! <laughs> And welcome back to the KSAT 12 Pigskin Classic, sponsored by your area Chevy dealers. We are now joined by the head coach of Smithson Valley, Larry Hill. First off, Larry, you've worked really hard over the last couple of weeks preparing for this moment. What was the attitude of your kids as you guys arrived here at the Alamo Dome? Well, our kids are excited. You know, it's been a few years since we've been able to play down here. And uh, so, uh, you know, to play a quality opponent like Reagan, um, you know, in a, in a setting like this, uh, be a real test for our football team. And uh, when we leave today, I think we're going to be a better team because of it. What was the, uh, the message you're going to be giving them as they hit, hit the field this morning? Well, ultimately, you have to trust your preparation and do what you, you know, what you know to be right. And, uh, you know, albeit in a, in, a, in a setting that you're not used to being in and, and as I said, a quality opponent. So you got to know ahead of time that not everything's going to go according to script, but uh, you got to stay the course and, and make enough plays to give yourself a chance to win. All right, Coach, thank you very much for your time and good luck today. Appreciate it. All right, let's take you over to the Reagan side line, Gabe Ferris. All right, Gabe Farias here with head football coach of the Reagan Rattlers, Lyndon Hamilton. Coach, this is a, an extravagant event here, uh, not your normal first game of the year. How do you keep your kids focused on football in an event like this? Uh, you know, it's the most important game of the year because it's our first game. Um, literally, we, we kind of had a little throwback like the old Hoosiers coach. Yeah. We talked about this field is 100 yards long and, and 53 yards wide, and, um, you know, our kids are very poised and, and, re and ready for the, the challenge today. Place the importance on making the fewest mistakes because in games like this, I don't care if it's Pop Warner, or NFL, or college, teams that make fewest mistakes in these first games are the ones that come out ahead. You know, they, they understand the emphasis of taking care of the ball. Um, we know that this Smithson Valley is going to do a great job on their end of t trying to take care of that, that pill, and, and on our end, we got to take it from them, and we can't give it to them. So, uh, you know, it'll be a four-quarter football game, and as long as we take care of the rock, um, we like our we like our odds. All right, Coach, best of luck today. You betcha. Straight there you go. All right, there you go. Greg, Larry, back to you. All right, thanks to both head coaches. Good luck to both teams today. We're just minutes away from kickoff, waiting for the players to run out onto the field, and we're ready for some football today with game one between Smithson Valley and Reagan. Time for us to get out of the way and head to the booth. That's right. Bobby Stotzenberger and Andy Skelton are standing by, so we'll see you right after the game with highlights and post-game reaction. Hi, we're the Reagan Rattler Cheerleaders, and you're watching the KSAT Pigskin Classic. And we'll be right back. Sky 12 with a beautiful shot of the Alamo Dome in downtown San Antonio this morning. Side of the KSAT Pigskin Classic 2022 presented by your San Antonio area Chevy dealers in an unprecedented triple header to kick off the high school football season in South Texas this weekend with six powerhouse teams under one roof on a very humid day in August. That's right. Let's go. Our first teams arrived at 9 a.m. to the Alamo Dome. The Smithson Valley Rangers ranked 14th in the state in Class 5A Division 1, top 25 according to Dave Campbell's Texas Football Magazine. Right behind them, the Reagan Rattlers, who are ranked 36th in the state in Class 6A, ready to face off in what has been known as the Town and Country Bowl. And hello, everybody, and welcome inside the Alamo Dome, a very crisp 72 degrees, very humid outside. And as you can see, all the bands, the cheerleaders, the pep squads, and the teams have arrived, and we're on that edge right now to the countdown to kickoff of the KSAT Pigskin Classic 2022 presented by your San Antonio area Chevy dealers, and we have the very cool jackets to prove it. Yeah, dressed to impress to start off this broadcast today, my friend. Apparently, we went to the same jacket store <laughs> yes, and the same pants store because we are rocking the khakis. You know, Greg, this is something that has never been done to open a high school football weekend right here in the Alamo Dome, thanks to a lot of folks who made this happen. Yeah, and we're going to get to meet those folks right now because we're just minutes away from the kickoff of our first game, and let's introduce you to those folks who will be covering Smithson Valley and Reagan. I'm David Sears, KSAT 12. And I'm Gabe Farias. We're here on the sidelines. I'm going to be covering the Reagan Rattlers. Yeah, bringing you all the action from down here on the field. And I'll be on the Smithson Valley sideline. I'm Jen Tobias Jeske. I'll be covering how your San Antonio area Chevy dealers got involved in this major event and what you can look forward to seeing throughout the evening. I'm Lee Waldman. We're making sure you know what's happening in the stands during today's triple header. Parents, grandparents, even some surprise guests all in attendance to catch this first ever event in San Antonio. Let's go. 
I'm KSAT 12's RJ Marquez. And I'm Alicia Barrera. Welcome to our private party for KSAT Insiders. We'll show you what's happening up here and how you can become a KSAT Insider. That way you don't miss any of the fun. Hi, everyone. It's Mike and Fiona from SA Live. We have got every halftime covered for you. All the marching bands, dance teams, cheerleaders, you'll see their performances at halftime. Not only is this a really big day for all the players, but for the bands, dance, pep, and cheer squads, too. Hi, everybody. Bobby Stotzenberger along with Andy Skelton. We are getting set for the first game of the Pigskin Classic as Smithson Valley takes on Reagan. Andy, it's going to be a great day of football. It'll be a lot of fun. First game of the season. Be ready to rock and roll. All right, folks, join us at 11.30 for Smithson Valley Reagan. And thanks, everyone. Now, there's plenty of history surrounding this first matchup between Smithson Valley and Reagan. This is the first time in 10 years that the Rangers will compete at the Class 5A level. It's also the first time these two powerhouse programs will meet in the regular season since 2009. It's the revival of the old town and country bowl with the Rattlers representing town and the Rangers representing country. It's pretty exciting, you know, that's probably the biggest stadium we've ever played in, or personally me, but, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I've never played in the Alamo Dome. I've been to it, UTSA games, stuff like that, but I've never played in it. I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm ready to go. And I got a couple friends in Reagan, too, so. We're fired up, you know, not a lot of teams get to play in the Alamo Dome, and we're one of the lucky few. It's all about little things, one play at a time. It's not about, hey, let's end the end zone. It's first down, first down, first down. It's going to be a really good experience, you know, all the fans going to come out. We're going to put on the show for them, and we just to work. Here it is, KSAT Pigskin Classic 2022, presented by your SA area Chevy dealers. 11:30 this morning, Smithson Valley versus Reagan. Then 3:30 this afternoon, Judson versus Johnson. I'll be working that game. And 7:30 tonight, talk about a big showdown. Steel taking on Brennan. Now let's check in with Jim Tobias Stresky and our special guest. Hi guys, here with me today is Daryl Dixon, the president of the San Antonio area Chevy Dealers Local Marketing Association. Hello. I'm doing fine, and you? Yes, great. Okay, this is huge. We're talking three big games, six high schools involved. How excited is the San Antonio area Chevy Dealers to be involved? Oh, we're very excited. You know, as, as you know, high school football in the great state of Texas is huge. So the San Antonio area Chevy Dealers are very happy to be a part of this. Yes, tell us about your involvement uh, with other local events here in the community. Well, we're always great to be involved in, in as many local events as we can, supporting schools, education, Fiesta, uh, San Antonio Missions Baseball, uh, Texas Little League Baseball. I mean, it's, it's all a very... Part, proud part of us being something we can be involved in. Yes, and do you have any predictions for this first game? Uh, I like Smithson Valley in this one. <laughs> okay, so we're in football season. Do you have any uh, anything that you just love about football season? Well, I think a lot of it's just family and friends getting together and bringing your favorite snacks and maybe some adult beverages and rooting for your favorite team. All right, and do you have a go-to snack for, for when you watch the game? I'd have to say uh, sausage queso. All right, sausage queso. That sounds amazing. Making me hungry. After game one, we will be taking a, a look at this beautiful Silverado behind us and how easy it is to buy a new Chevy. Back to you, Greg and Larry. All right, thank you very much, Jen. Now let's find out what you get on special occasions like this when we become a KSAT 12 insider. For more on that, let's check in with our RJ Marquez and Alicia Barrera. Hey, you guys, it's been a lot of fun. We've been having fun since doors opened. And good news, the KSAT Insider event is sold out. Yeah, completely sold out for all three games. This is a free membership program where you get first dibs on events like this one. You get some swag like this, all the fun stuff. You get to meet us, kind of intermingle with us. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. Already a lot of people have been walking in here. You don't even have to wait till halftime because we have special performances over here by our KSAT team. There you have our producer, one of our photojournalists, and of course you can't miss Sarah Agosta. We'll be bringing you all the fun. Back to you guys. We're in the wrong place. Right. We need to be up there in case at 12 insiders. Thank you very much, Alicia and RJ. It's time now for our first break. When we come back, you're going to hear from both head coaches because we are near kickoff as we speak. But first, let's check in with our Adam Kasky, who is enjoying today's games. And of course, that crazy, fun Adam Kasky way. Once it gets to 80. 
Yeah, baby. Here we go. El Canyon de Casquiron has a whole new purpose today. All right, that should be good. Today, we are launching t-shirts. You ready? Come on, there we go. You ready? Landon, three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Hello everyone, and the wait is over. The big triple header here at the Alamo Dome is just moments away as we welcome you to the KSAT Pigskin Classic. Bobby Stotzenberger joined by Andy Skelton here at the Dome, and Andy, a big, big day for San Antonio area high school football. Six of the best programs in town going head to head today, and it all starts here with Smithson Valley versus Reagan. This should be a lot of fun. Absolutely, it's gonna be a great atmosphere for the kids today. We start out with the Town and Country Bowl. That's what this game is traditionally called. Uh, and again, man, what a great way to start the, the 2022 campaign here. It is the first game of the season, but it feels like playoff atmosphere already, but it's going to be a great day for high school football. It is a non-district game. Smithson Valley 9-3 last year in 6A. They moved down to 5A Division One. They're expected to make some noise at that level. Reagan 7-4 and four last year, a playoff team as well. But uh, you know, the excitement of this game is going to get uh, make these kids really perform well, I think, plus the 72 degrees in the Alamo Dome doesn't hurt either. Yeah, low humidity, these kids, especially these big guys today. It's going to be an awesome atmosphere for the big boys. And again, watching these kids walk in today and look up at the Dome and soak it all in, that's what it's all about in high school football and the rite of passage that these young men get to participate in today. Well, it, it, you talk about the uh, series history. We'll take a look at it here. The Town and Country Bowl, Smithson Valley's won 12 of those contests. Reagan has won three. We saw that last one, Andy, back in 2020. That was a great playoff game where Reagan took a big halftime lead. Smith and Valley came storming back. We both know uh, these two teams like to get after each other. Well, I'll tell you what, Coach Hamilton and Coach Hill, some of the best in the city, and I'll tell you what, it's going to be a dogfight today for sure. Well, they are not coming in empty-handed. Smith and Valley, let's take a look at their returners. They have a, a quite a few, including one of the best defensive players in the city, Gavin Woods. We'll feature him later. And then Colton Tomlinson, everybody's all-star offensive lineman. We'll feature him as well. But you got a, a nucleus to work with uh, for Smith and Valley. Yeah, they both of these teams tend to be a little senior heavy team, but again, up front uh, on both sides of the ball, we're going to see some great talent happening with the bigs up front. And again, of course, the 4-3 defense legendary under Larry Hill and uh, Gavin Woods, Great, uh, good. hoping to see some great things out of him today as well. All right, let's go down to the field with the coin toss, and we'll take a look at the Reagan. Gentlemen, welcome to the opening season, our opening week of the 2022 Texas High School football season and the opening game of the KSAT Pigskin Classic. What we want out of here today is to fly around, hit hard, play fast, and play within the rules for us, okay? Smithson Valley, as the visiting team, you'll have the call on the coin toss. We have a commemorative coin for the 25th year of the Patia Bowl. This is gonna be heads. Texas will be tails. Heads. Tails. What is your call? Tails. Call is tails. And it is tails. You want the toss? Prefer to the second half. You want the ball, right? Which way you all want to kick? Either one. Okay. <laughs> kick that way? Alright. Smith and Ballard won the toss. Preferred their choice in the second half. Reagan will receive in the south end zone. All right, fellas, shake hands. Let's have a good All right, there game. you see it. The uh, Smithson Valley Rangers defer. They will play defense first. As we quickly look at the Reagan starters before we go to break, these are the returners. They have six offensive and six defenses, defensive players back, so it should be a great game. Some nucleus to work with for both teams. We'll be back in a moment. You're watching the KSAT Pigskin Classic presented by your San Antonio area Chevy dealers on KSAT 12. Welcome back. The Smiths and Valley Band getting ready for the action here today at the Alamo Dome. First of three, a great rivalry here. The Town and Country Bowl renewed here to start the 2022 season. Bobby Stotzenberg along with Andy Skelton. We got some great players, Andy, in this game. 
Let's first look at the Smithson Valley Rangers. And you're going to love this because the first guy we feature <laughs> is the big guy as uh, Colton Thomason and Gavin Woods will be key for Smithson Valley this year. I tell you what, we've seen Colton Thomason. You see him right here highlighted. He is a physical cat, finishes blocks, uh, you know, kind of guy you want up front right here. I mean, he just likes to put people into the ground, and it's, it's fun to see. He's headed to Texas A&M, and Aggies are going to be happy to get him. Well, he, he's, we've been watching him since he was a sophomore, and he's been a great player ever since then. And then on the defensive side, this young man has a nose for the football, Gavin Woods. Yeah, again, it, it highlights that 4-3 defense that the Coach Hill's known for. He actually gets to the football. He'll come off the edge. He'll come up the middle depending on what their scheme is. But he is a great, rangy kid at that linebacker position. And no doubt about it, uh, both of these guys will be – the leaders on their respective sides of the football. As uh, Reagan, though, has some uh, guys of their own to uh, counter as we look at the impact players. This young man, yes. we've watched him since he was a freshman, and he's been injured a little bit the last two years, but he is a great talent. Welcome back, Carson Green. Glad to see he's back today. He's going to be electrifying for sure. He is an outstanding running back, and when he's healthy, Reagan's offense is so much better. Yeah, it, it helps to when you got a speecher like this and a, a scat cat that's able to make a guy miss like you see right there. And, and uh, you know, you're going to tackle him, but he's going to be 8, 9, 10, 12 yards down the field. 426 yards last year, but in limited uh, time, they hope to keep him healthy this season. And then how about this? The kicking game is so important, and Matt Velasco is one of the best in the area. He was 35 of 35 on extra points tried last year, Bobby, and that's, that's kind of unheard of at the high school level. He wore number 71 last year, but he will wear number 7 uh, this morning here in the Alamo Dome. He is, uh, you know, in the kicking game, and that's always the, not always, but sometimes the forgotten part of a, of a football game. But, you know, over the years, particularly Smith and Valley, I think Reagan's always good in the kicking game good, too. They always have good kickers, guys that can kick long field goals, kick the ball out of the end zone, punt the ball well. But Smith and Valley in particular stands out in my mind as one of those teams that make a lot of plays in special teams, block kicks, block punts, kickoff returns. That's something Larry Hill has done a great job in his years at Smith and Valley. Well, I promise if you're going to be a championship caliber football team, Bobby, you're going to need that third phase, which is the kicking game. And uh, your, your extra point guys, your, your field goal guys, uh, they're going to win you some ball games that you might not ought should win. And, uh, you know, again, both of these teams take care of that third phase of the football game. Well, Dave, Larry Hill's always downplayed this as anybody as a rival. He's got a lot of rivals, but this, they used to call it the Town and Country Bowl. This is before Piper High School was built, which is uh, pulling from some of the Smithson Valley uh, population. As you see the Rangers coming out, one of those guys will be our John Wayne player of the game, perhaps, if Smithson Valley wins this game. You can vote throughout the game for the John Wayne player of the game. Go to johnwayne.com to select who you think we will pick as the player of the game. But again, going back to that Town and Country Bowl, and this is before Johnson was built, which drew from Reagan. You had bordering schools in that Timberwood Park area, the fans, the community, they know each other as the Reagan Rattlers now make their entrance into the Alamo Dome. I'll tell you what, listen to the electricity in this building, Bobby. It's not even noon yet. It's rocking and rolling. Great atmosphere for high school football today. These kids, it's only game one, but it's game one. It is the time to get it on. Well, the two teams have made their way onto the uh, field of play. We'll have the national anthem here momentarily as well. Very exciting. You got to have some uh, determination and stamina today. I know you and I are here for the duration. Oh, I love it. Yeah, we. It's three hey. days. We're going to be sleeping well tonight. The KSAT folks have worked very, very hard to bring this special event, and we're happy to have the games right here on KSAT 12. And uh, come on out if you're watching at home right now. We've got two more games today as well. Two really good ones, Judson versus Johnson at 3.30, followed by the nightcap, one versus two, Brennan versus Steele. And all these teams are very familiar with each other as well as uh, they have all clashed on the field. But this is the only one that you could say is a kind of a longer standing rivalry. Johnson and Judson haven't, I think they've only played one time, a couple of appearances between the uh, Brennan Bears and Steel Knights against each other. But these two teams have played 15 times, so there is some history. Let's go to the field and uh, our color guard will walk out for the playing of our national anthem. And uh, Pat Evans, our stadium in, in stadium announcer.
job on the national anthem as we are just moments away from this historic event kicking off. Smithson Valley versus Reagan. We'll be back with the kickoff, starting lineups, and more as we continue from the Alamo Dome. You're watching the KSAT Pigskin Classic presented by your San Antonio area Chevy dealers on KSAT 12. Don't miss the Hot Tub and Swim Spa Blowout Expo this weekend at the new Braunfels Convention Center. It's the largest display of hot tubs and swim spas in the region, and everything must go. That's the Hot Tub and Swim Spa Blowout Expo this weekend at the new Braunfels Convention Center. Visit HotTubExpo.com. That's HotTubExpo.com. I was nearly killed by a tractor trailer. I was unconscious in the ICU. I had to have six major surgeries for fractures and bleeding all over my body. My children remember to call the force. Jeff Davis came to my aid personally. When my case settled, I received $1.75 million. When you call the fours, the fours are with you. So if you've been in a car and truck wreck, call me at 444-4444. That's 444-4444. There's only one number to remember, and that's four. trailblazing yelpers so that we may know the thrill of a hand-painted highlight and the bounciest of blowouts 